Hey, what's up? It's Nassim. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, I am a mom to an almost one-year-old boy, which is so crazy. He is almost a year old, which makes me one year into my postpartum weight loss journey. I wanted to sit down and make this video because I did receive a comment from someone on one of my live workouts, which by the way, if you are new, I do post daily live workouts, just documenting my exercise routines. Someone had requested this video talking about what my workout routine is and what my diet looks like. Now, um, I am not a physical trainer. I am not a nutritionist. Like I am not an expert in this category by any means, but I have done this before. I have lost a bunch of weight before you know, getting pregnant. Um, I had embarked on a weight loss journey and dropped a total of 25 pounds and I kind of figured out, you know, what has worked for me and for my body. For reference, I am five feet tall. I am petite, very small framed. Yeah, let's just dive right into this video. There's going to be a lot of content. So hopefully you find this video somewhat helpful and beneficial. Before we do dive in, I get a lot of questions about the jewelry that I am wearing throughout my videos. And I have mentioned this brand before many times because I absolutely adore their jewelry. It is just such good quality and for such affordable pricing. I mean, you just can't beat it, um, which is Ana Luisa. Thank you so much to Ana Luisa for partnering with me on this portion of the video. I am wearing their jewelry today. Um, all their earrings that I am wearing are from them along with this beautiful necklace and I'll zoom in so you guys can quickly see this. It is this beautiful like link necklace that's got crystals all the way around. I don't know if you can see that. See that? Really pretty. If you don't want it this length, you can make it a little bit longer, which is really nice. Another piece that I am so excited to try are these teardrop type of earrings. And I will show you what these look like. I'm so, so excited. They look kind of crazy. They look like they're gonna be a little bit bold and daring and very edgy and out there. But actually, you will be surprised at how these just will elevate your look. Um, and they aren't like so crazy. They are really not, are not. Look at this. Look how cute that is. It's just like so beautiful and so shiny. I love all their pieces. I have never ever had any of their pieces tarnish, turn green, turn brassy on me. I wear them to bed. I wear them working out. I wear them in the shower. Um, I also got these really cute, super dainty star and moon earrings that also have these tiny little crystals on them. This is such a cute and fun set. Also really love their packaging too. I'm like in love with all their pieces. Like I can go on their website and I can just shop for hours because they have such beautiful timeless pieces that will elevate your style. Um, they've got a sale going on right now. So I will leave a link to my discount code down below in the description box of this video. So feel free to check them out. Anna Luisa, you won't want to miss it. They've got such nice pieces. Okay, moving right along into the topic of today's video, which is my workout and diet routine. So I am currently almost one year postpartum and the entire journey, the entire postpartum journey has been very, very interesting to say the least. It has been a lot of ups, a lot of downs. I have learned a lot and I have learned about patience. <laughs> I have learned to give myself a lot of grace and a lot of patience, which I urge you to do if you are a mom. With that being said, I didn't actually start really like tracking my calories and getting really strict with my nutrition until about six months postpartum. Now I was breastfeeding and even when I was breastfeeding, I was still kind of like more conscious about what I was consuming because let me tell you, during pregnancy, I definitely let myself go. 
I think I ate pretty well. I ate everything and um, I wouldn't say I was the healthiest. I gained about 50 pounds during pregnancy and for me that's that's a lot because like I said, I'm five feet tall. I'm short, smaller framed girl. That was definitely a shock for my body and I'll insert some pictures here of what my body looked like pre-pregnancy so you guys can get a sense of you know why I'm saying that pregnancy was a shock to my body because I was in great shape. I worked out five to six times a week. I was an avid runner. I competed in a race, uh, you know, ran six miles in that race, um, lifted weights. I was eating very clean and I was probably, I would say at this time, anywhere between, I was fluctuating between like 105 to 109, 110 pounds. And at the time I conceived, I was 110 pounds. And then throughout the course of pregnancy, I gained a total of 50 pounds. And I don't think I've ever mentioned uh, this in a video, but um, I wasn't like super active during my pregnancy. Yes, I probably, uh, you know, walked a couple times a week. I maybe squeezed in a couple like you know, lighter type exercises, nothing with like weights or anything like that. I also was on bed rest. I was on bed rest at 32 weeks. And so it was very, very hard for me to incorporate movement and activity and exercise like I was used to pre-pregnancy. It was very, very difficult for me, not only physically, but also mentally to be on bed rest. I was on bed rest because I was having early contractions. So I couldn't really move and Obviously, that's going to impact your everything. It's gonna impact your mental health, your physical health, all of that. And so that was definitely challenging for me. So with all that said, yes, absolutely, I had to give myself a lot of patience and grace because it took me 10 months to gain that much weight, that, all that weight that I gained during pregnancy, but also it's gonna take that much time, if not twice as long, to lose the weight. And throughout my postpartum weight loss journey, these are all of the things that I have to remind myself of is to not worry so much about the scale and just know that all of these things that I'm doing every single day for myself, for my health are beneficial and that I'm going to see progress. It's just gonna be very, very slow progress. And also look how far I've come. I have now since dropped 36 pounds now, yeah, 36 pounds. So I'm currently sitting at 124 pounds and I'm still not at my goal weight. I would like to get down to 115. If I can get down to pre-pregnancy weight of 110, that would be even better, that'd be great. But if I can get down to 115, so another 10 more pounds, that would be awesome. As far as like what I'm eating, I actually track my calories and I've talked about this before. I am a big proponent of tracking calories and I, I follow calories in versus calories out, meaning I am consuming less calories than I'm burning. I will leave a link to a calculator down below which will give you guidelines as to how many calories you should be consuming based on your activity activity level. For the most part, like I am consuming roughly the same number of calories um, because I am logging my workouts. So I work out six times a week and also I am trying to get in 10,000 steps a day. So. I roughly know like how much I'm burning on a day-to-day -day basis to um, essentially lose however much weight I'm trying to lose in a certain amount of time. I, I'm not like trying to lose a pound a week or half a pound a week. Like if I'm lucky, if I'm lucky, I will lose like a quarter of a pound in a week, which is great for me. So I just feel like I when I consume a certain number of calories, like I'm hitting that target, I feel better in my clothes. I feel like I can sleep better at night. So anyway, I do have a spreadsheet where I do track my calories um, after you know logging everything into that 
calculator that I'll leave a link to down below. It will give you the number of calories that you should be consuming in order to maintain versus in order to lose weight. So I will log how many calories I've consumed for the day. I will also log my steps for the day. I try to aim for 10,000 steps like I said, but sometimes it's really hard, especially because I'm working from home and I'm sitting at my desk a lot of the time. But I, I do try and take my son out for like a walk, sometimes two walks a day if I can. And I'll average anywhere between like seven to 9,000 steps. On a good day, I'll get 10,000. I'm not too concerned about it, as long as I'm moving my body. And then I will log that into my spreadsheet. And yeah, as far as like my diet goes, I eat everything. I don't do intermittent fasting. I know a lot of people on YouTube talk about intermittent fasting. I've seen a lot of like postpartum moms talk about intermittent fasting. I've tried that and it just doesn't work for me. I wake up and I'm, I'm hungry. I'm ready to eat. And I don't know if that's because I'm working out every single day, I'm quite active, but I'm like ready to eat. So I think that means that my metabolism is, is good. <laughs> I'm burning. My calories so I wake up hungry uh, I just drink a lot of water first thing I chug a big glass of like 20 ounces of water and then my coffee has collagen like powder in it it's got to like 10 grams of protein or something for a scoop so that will kind of suppress my appetite for like an hour or two and then I'll have oatmeal um, before I work out and my oatmeal is just a bowl of half a cup of Quaker oats with water. I'll cook that with like just a splash of uh, soy milk or oat milk and then like a drizzle of honey loaded up with cinnamon and that is usually my breakfast in the morning or I'll have like two slices of low calorie uh, Dave's bread and half an avocado and that's kind of like a typical breakfast for me. I love eggs. I love, 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 love eggs so much, but they give me a rash, and I don't know if it's because I'm allergic to eggs or what, or the egg whites, but if I could, like my ideal breakfast would be one egg mixed with egg whites, like liquid egg whites, like two or three egg whites, and I'll have that with Dave's bread and cream cheese. That's kind of like my go-to, but I have been kind of staying away from eggs because of the rash. And then for lunch, it will be a chicken salad that I'll make at home. So I will like throw in chicken breast. This is what I do every single week. I throw chicken breast into the crock pot with a bunch of spices, onion powder, garlic powder, Cajun seasoning, and I will let that slow cook for four hours. And that chicken breast turns so tender. It just shreds. And I use shredded chicken breast in my salads or in a wrap. I use a low carb tortilla, load it up with spinach, load it up with salad mix lettuce, whatever, a little bit of ranch, and that's like my go-to lunch. Super easy, quick, but my go-to is usually just like salad, protein, or I'll have broccoli with a little bit of rice and chicken. And then it's portioned out so I know exactly like how many calories I'm consuming. So it's not like I'm going overboard and having a huge lunch. It's a pretty small lunch. Um, and then I'll have like a cup of decaf coffee with maybe like a biscuit by biscuit. What I mean is like a fig bar and it's, um, I'll insert a picture of what it is and I'll eat half of that and half of that is a hundred calories. So that's kind of my snack. And then for dinner, it's pretty much the same thing as lunch. It will be a carb, lots of veggies and protein. Um, and I keep it very simple, you guys. Like I'm a creature of habit. I can eat the same thing every single day. I don't really mix it up too much, but if I'm craving a burger on a Wednesday night, I'm gonna make a burger at home um, and eat a burger. I may not eat so many fries. I'll just have the bun and the patty because I would rather have an actual hamburger with the bun and no fries, but that's just me. If you wanna have fries, then maybe go with a protein style hamburger you know, wrap it with lettuce and then also have the fries. It's just about balance. I eat everything, everything in moderation. I even have dessert. So my dessert is, believe it or not, I will have whipped cream from the can. It's only like 20 calories for one tablespoon. I'll have like two tablespoons of like whipped cream from the can and it satisfies me. It feels like I'm having 
a true dessert or eating ice cream. That's how much I love whipped cream. I love it so much. I have it like every single night. And then maybe like a small like chocolate square, like a dark chocolate square. Done. And that's kind of like my routine. I eat something sweet after every single meal. Like I have to have something sweet and it just like signals to my brain that I'm done eating for that day. And that's it. I'll have um, typically the same types of foods every single day, like Monday through Friday. Usually Friday nights is when we like to go out to eat or we'll order takeout. We will usually do a burger or we'll have pizza or we'll have Mexican food. I typically only splurge on one like cheat meal a week. I try not to go overboard. Maybe that's why I'm not losing a lot of weight right now. I'm in a plateau is because I'm, maybe I'm just like enjoying too many cheats right now. But to be honest, the past few days, I haven't really been tracking. I've been a little bit under the weather and I've been a little bit more lax with my diet. So it's time to get back on track. But I see the most amount of progress when I only limit myself to one cheat meal, not a cheat day, not two cheat days. I do my best when I limit myself to like one cheat meal, not a whole like cheat day or two cheat days. So yeah, and then of course I drink tons and tons of water. I fill up my Stanley at least once or twice a day. And then um, as far as like my workout routine goes, I try and work out five to six times a week. And I've been sharing my workouts here on YouTube. I do a lot of HIIT workouts, interval training workouts, because I don't have a ton of time. I only have like maybe 30 to 45 minutes to work out when my son goes down for his first morning nap. So I have to be super efficient with my workouts. They have to be effective and they have to be efficient. I have to know that I'm burning, you know, a good amount of calories and I'm sweating. That's at least how I feel like I'm really pushing myself is that I'm like sweating and I'm, my heart rate, you know, my heart rate is up. And then some days, um, I don't push it too hard and I just do like weights and I'll do a lot of like strength training for my upper body and for my lower body. And I know that I'm also doing something good there too because when you are lifting weights, you're building muscle. Building muscle is going to help you build up your metabolism, help you burn more calories throughout the day. So not every single day has to be, you know, a heart pumping, heart racing, sweaty type workout. Although those are my favorite. I do have to say I love a good cardio session. I love a good HIIT workout, um, but I, I absolutely have to incorporate weights because I know that building muscle is key, especially for us women as we age and as we're getting older. But let me, sh let me show you guys like my body because I know pictures are one thing, but giving you a sense of what my body looks like is another. So these shorts, uh, keep riding up my legs, but <laughs> this is my, what my body looks like. Um, top is a, is a small and shorts are a medium. These are, I think from Walmart, I believe. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's a new body that I'm working with. I'm definitely not like <laughs> where I want to be, but I'm not, I'm not like mad at it. I'm proud of my body. I'm proud of what it has done for me, what it's been able to do. I grew a human being and it is functioning. It is healthy. Um, I don't have any sort of like aches or pains, although I used to run a lot. Um, but now with my left knee, I feel like, I don't know, I should probably go see someone about that. It's like, kind of hurts just a little bit. I don't know what it's from. Maybe it's from doing the bike too much. I don't know. I've kind of given it a break. It's gotten a lot better since I've been doing um, like less jumping type workouts. So yeah, I think I'm, I'm very much enjoying my workout routine right now. I used to do a lot of the bike. I used to do a lot of running and I don't have as much fun anymore, I think, with the bike. I used to really do, I, do, I did like the bike, but now I feel like I wanna move my body in different ways. I wanna challenge myself in different ways and these 
interval training workouts that I do challenge me and they're fun and I don't know, I enjoy them. I can't wait though to get out and go back to running like a few times a week. So maybe I'll try getting into that. But for now I am liking my HIIT workouts and hopefully you guys are liking them too. I post every single day. Let me know if you guys are into that. Let me know where you guys are at in your weight loss journey. How much are you looking to lose? I am looking to lose that last really hard 10 to 15 pounds, which is so, so hard. Just like having to get through a plateau, man, it is tough. But I would love to know where you guys are at and what types of workouts would you be interested in seeing? I love posting all types of workouts. So whether you're a beginner or you're more advanced, I'm happy to accommodate. So let me know down in the comments. Hopefully this video was helpful and I'll be sharing more about my postpartum weight loss because I'm right there with you. I feel like there needs to be more conversation around this topic. There's just so much to talk about. So, so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Ana Luisa. They are having a sale. I love their stuff. I would not sway you. Check them out. Use my discount code down below and I will see you in my next one. Bye.